The cable TV industry might be in need of some fine tuning. Some of the industry's biggest players are seeing their share prices drop dramatically this week as more consumers cancel their traditional pay TV services. Time Warner, Discovery Communications, Walt Disney, Viacom, and 21st Century Fox's stock prices saw broad declines as Wall Street's fears grow that subscriber losses will cut into the revenue the companies earn from pay TV providers like Comcast, Cablevision, and Time Warner Cable. Now, while Disney's bottom line has been aided by its latest Avengers movie and the sale of merchandise from the movie Frozen, subscriber declines at ESPN, down 6% since 2011, have sent a particularly sharp chill down Wall Street's spine and was a trigger behind Wednesday's broad industry sell-off. ESPN has traditionally been a leader among cable channels and subscriber fees that's paid from pay TV providers because of its menu of live sports events. But cord cutting and smaller channel packages offered by providers forced Disney executives to reel in its projections for the company's operating income growth to mid to single digits. To be sure, even with the subscriber declines, ESPN oh, Dancing with the Stars and its sister network ABC still added about $5.8 billion to Disney's coffers. That's up 5% compared to a year ago. So who's winning amid all the big corporate dark clouds? Online platforms like Netflix, Hulu and Amazon are grabbing millennials in particular that do not see the need to pay for a monthly subscription and in many cases hundreds of channels they may never watch. But the sea change in viewing habits has taught some traditional programmers some new tricks as well, with Time Warner's HBO and CBS's Showtime networks offering internet-only or over-the-top services to reach mobile viewers directly.